Huh? Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, guys, uh, what did you learn? What surprised you? What would you do differently in future? One of you. Uh, well, one of the things I learned is, is definitely I've never really paired um, at, that often, and, and the pairing experience is, is, is really, um, I thought it was pretty good. Invaluable. Yeah, That's completely. Word, okay? it's, it's <laughs> because you, you, have to, you have to be able to, you know, you always come into the, to, into the pair with your own ideas, but you have to also be open to what other people suggest and, and seeing where there's overlap and knowing when to say, okay, you know, I, I think this is the right way, or saying, you know, maybe let me take a step back and see what, where this goes. I, mean, was I really liked the Bob when he was uh, stating his case. He used the simplicity as the guideline right. to decide which approach to take, which I really yeah. is the point of the entire TDD, you know. Right. It's, you want to end up with a minimal system, right? Well, one thing that struck me is that, um, I guess this is what you learned, the teams kept coming up with the same definitions of the objects in the world. And there was a, there was a uh, they congregated around the same particular verbs, the same particular way of looking at the problem. That told me that each time you go through and you look at it, if you start seeing the same thing over and over again, you're probably on the right thing. Mm -hmm. there, there are another dozen ways this whole thing could have been defined. Uh, what is uh, the requirement given that you are right? We are looking at a Convex URL and also the Wikipedia page, and uh, probably we described to extent, right? And so we were influenced in some way. Yeah. Maybe in a real life situation, maybe it will be not different. Yeah. So what would you guys do differently next time? Don't be not create crazy <laughs> methods. <laughs> not create crazy methods. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> okay, guys. Miguel and... Uh, uh. Um, uh, what about, I mean, I learned a lot about the personally uh, our spec syntax and, and testing in, in general. What, is anything that surprised you? I, I don't think anything necessarily surprised me. Uh, it was certainly a good experience, though. Okay. Uh, and what would I do differently? I mean, certainly going forward, I would I would apply the technique. A lot of things. Of just okay. trying to jump in and code. Great, guys. Quickly, somebody wants. Uh, I this was the first time I tried uh, test driven development. It's kind of new to me. Uh, maybe I'll try that in future testing. Anything that surprised you? Everybody was using anything except Python, right? <laughs> anything you would do differently next time? I, I may try test driven development before thinking about the actual development. OK, good. Okay. Last team. What surprised you? Um, nothing, nothing hugely, but uh, I got a chance to uh, sit with some experts on RSpec, which was great. And the um, one thing that might be good to do the next time around is to uh, send out a little bit of pre-reading in, in the RSpec, because there are many people who are very mm -hmm. good at it, but some of us were desperately going through the web pages trying to figure out mm -hmm. even the basic syntax of it. What would you do differently in future? Uh, I don't know. Uh, read the RSpec manual. <laughs> <laughs>